Hi there, Saints. I was going to say it's good to see you, but of course we can't. <laughs> you can see us. However, this is going to be the configuration that we're going to be meeting together in for the foreseeable future. We'll be monitoring developments and as those advisories come in, we may well change and be allowed to meet back together. In the meantime, though, I'll be sending a weekly link for you to join us in this online configuration. And I'm sure that uh, we'll be able to worship together. Uh, each week, I'm going to send a separate link. And as you click on that, uh, hopefully at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, so we all know that we're going to be together at that time, we'll worship the Lord. There'll be a number of videos that we'll bring up, which are the latest songs. And then at the end, I'm going to record a message and have that broadcast. So bring your Bibles and your notebooks. And uh, just as though we were in church, we'll sing and worship and study together. And a scripture that's been in my mind uh, this week is from Hannah's song, actually, in the Old Testament, giving thanks for the gift of Samuel and just how great God was to her in the situation of her barrenness. And it's repeated again here in 2 Samuel 22. And uh, this is verse 32. For who is God except the Lord? Who but our God is a solid rock? God is my strong fortress. And uh, plenty of uncertainty in these very strange days but God is our strong fortress our solid rock and he is the Lord through it all and then also this verse but the sentiments are repeated often in Philippians and Colossians those two books especially and this is Colossians 4 2 devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart and we need to be on the alert don't we in these days mm but to have a thankful heart that we're not alone, that God is with us in this. And also, how is he going to use this situation in my life to draw me closer to him or to teach me more about just who he is and so enrich my walk with him? Uh, so I just commend uh, those scriptures uh, to us all this morning. As well as meeting uh, online in this format, uh, we'll also be sending out the pastor's letter on Tuesday and that will be uh, full of hope and news and uh, this coming Tuesday we'll be advising you on ways in which you can continue to give and tithe. We've had questions about that. And so why don't we just pray together as we commit this morning to the Lord. Uh, oh, by the way, the elders will also be uh, 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 being in touch with you uh, by phone just to make sure everything's good. And uh, so look forward to that in the days ahead. So, Lord Jesus, we want to invite you to come into each home and each heart now. Yes. We want to pray that in this unusual configuration that we'd worship in spirit as well as in truth yes. and so we give ourselves to you now and we pray in these days that you would keep us safe keep us alert keep mm -hmm. us thankful mm -hmm. and we put ourselves at your disposal so that you can use us for your glory yes. in Jesus name Amen, amen.